board and still working on my etiquette in that regard. I just copy for my name. <laughs> um, I, it's not necessarily to to last like the whole hour, but it's pretty much for us to kind of like set bases on what to expect for tomorrow and all of that, so we can be ready, ready, ready. The reason why Mrs. Ford or Mrs. Sonia, and uh, I don't, I don't think I, <laughs> should I also say Mrs. I usually <laughs> call her me. Kelly. Um, <laughs> is um, that Philosophy Club actually have two collaboration event tomorrow? It's with a CA and the other one is with a student green team. So I'm not completely sure which one we're gonna debate first. I guess we can like toss a coin. Uh, but the point is to get, um, yeah, to to get the ground of what we're gonna do since we haven't mm -hmm. actually done it. To kind of like get our visions together so tomorrow will go as smooth as possible. Okay. Anything else that you want to add? Speaking with the uh, the green team collaboration before uh, Sonia has to get on the highway. Uh, she's actually going home. She's about to get home. I am about to get to my uh, my garage right now, and then I'm running upstairs. Okay, <laughs> so I'm parking right now, and I'm on my, I'm on my way upstairs. So just bear with me for a minute. Okay. 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 So, all right. So then I guess we start with the Student Government Association. Yeah. Okay. So it's <laughs> yeah, long time no see, Kelly. I know yeah. it's been oh, yeah. forever. Uh, yeah, like his first Called meeting like out the thirty day. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we, we do have tomorrow the Student Government Association. I already. One sec. There you go. I just mute Mrs. Ford. Um, yes, in the background noise. Okay, so uh, I already explained a little bit the vision of how the whole town hall should go. That I already mentioned it, and I'm not completely sure if the ads are completely finished. I don't know if you want help with that, like editing to be ready for the town hall. Um, yes. I was just going to say, I have them queued up. I have which ones we can play. So, um, I mean, we can play. I've got them separated into positive and negative categories, um, mm -hmm. and I'll try and play something that's relative, one of each, and then we can debate that and then we can go on to them if we have time and we want to we can go on to another set okay so yeah uh, the whole set so just to kind of like frame it the event in town hall meeting is going to go in collaborate ultra correct mm -hmm. okay so it's going to be collaborate one to two talking about ethics and ethics and campaigning uh the whole I the whole idea as i saw it was like the like the Philosophy Club kind of like start like an introduction on the subject, kind of like talking about our ideas. And after we discuss, I'm not completely sure how much time do we think that that's appropriate to do. Uh, we start showing the ads and talking a little bit more about like the ethicality of the ads and maybe talking a little bit of the history of how it, like it, it got to that position and things like that. And maybe missing something in particular, but for that we have always uh, uh, Great, Messi. So yeah. Way to throw it to me. Um, yeah, listen, uh, for next note, I, I, I'm more concerned with uh, what what Kelly wants out of the town hall. So, like us to, to sort of function the philosophy club. Are you expecting us to give a presentation, or is it more like kind of what we do naturally, which is sort of kind of kick off a discussion and invite people in. Do you want us to like define any terms? I'm just not sure how we're fitting in. I don't think we really need to define it other than, okay, you know, today we're going to talk about politics, political campaigns and ethics. And are they, you know, the strategies that people use in these campaigns, are they ethical should you vote based on what they say in these ads or should you i mean obviously i'm going to say you should go do your own research but you know is it is does it make it a fair vote when some people all they do is watch the ads or for that matter some people only watch cnn or only watch fox you know so they're not getting the whole picture kind of thing. does that make sense yeah, no, that, that, that helps clarify things. Because, again, uh, you know, campaigning is 
such a broad topic, but but yeah. So to kind of specify, it's more along the lines of um, I don't, are voters victims of manipulation or something along these yeah. lines? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess um, I have a number of ads ready to go, and I have the links in um, in a spread uh, spreadsheet. But like, I've got a couple from Kennedy. You know, I tried to steer away from anybody that's running right now. I wanted to keep that completely out, although those are the best examples. <laughs> okay. Wanted to keep that out of this, you know, out of the conversation. So we're looking at, we're not influencing anything that's happening today, hopefully. But um, okay, cool. I didn't know that. That's good to know. Yeah, I have, you know, I've got a couple from Kennedy. I've got um, some from Bush. Do you remember the one? Um, it was Bush was running against John Kerry in the primaries and it was the um, windsurfing one and it kept saying he was flip-flopping and it was like it was obviously they took this video and they just flipped it like this you know <laughs> and be like from one angle you'd see him windsurfing and they'd go John Kerry's tough on crime and then the next one he'd say John Kerry thinks people should have parole, you know, and it was just, and all it did was say was he was flip-flopping. Okay. Yeah. And no, I don't remember that, but that's, um, yeah, I like I mean, that. <laughs> yeah. And I found one, I actually found one from Barack Obama. That's probably the most recent. Um, but I found, I got a couple, one from his second presidential run, but one from his Senate run from when wow. he first got into politics. So I thought, well, that's interesting because that was in Chicago. You know, that was in Illinois, right? So people aren't going to know that. We're in Texas. We wouldn't have seen that. That's true. At least many of the people wouldn't have. Um, okay, so, I mean, how would you felt if maybe one of us played like the, uh, the devil's advocate? So to No, speak? that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So maybe, maybe like, well... <laughs> If you're just throwing, going, I'll do it. <laughs> well, I mean, this is like I, it's American I'm already. A missing party, I think, is going to advocate for this position. That's why I'm throwing it out there. But yeah, just this idea that well, if you if you're running for office, let's let's you know maybe be a bit optimistic, uh, not too cynical, and say this person believes. Okay, running for for POTUS, this person believes so much in, in, in the country and the ideals that it stands for according to their interpretation that they're willing to do whatever they have to to put themselves in a position where they can protect everybody. And if that means having to kind of get down in the mud and wrestle with their opponents a little bit, then it's, you know, it's a, it's a means that justifies the end. So it's kind of like they could have good intentions, but they also know the game they have to play and how to win it. And even if it's not laudable, they didn't invent the rules. So, so maybe something along those lines. So it's like, well, yeah. how can we be victims? I mean, what do you expect them to do? Well, you know? and then there's, you know, there's some ads, like, as I was looking for them, and, and they're all television ads. Okay, cool. Um, none of them are, it's not magazine or print or anything like that, obviously, because um, it's on YouTube. That'd be a little hard to put a magazine on YouTube. But um, there was, there were a few that Barack Obama did. Um I don't remember who he was running against, but it was like, he would say, I believe in blah, blah, blah. My opponent thinks this, you know, so it was, yes, pointing out what his opponent believed and kind of putting a spin on it. But at the same time, he wasn't saying, Yusha is evil, don't vote for him, you know. <laughs> so there's degrees to how much. Oh. How much negative is there? Do you just run on fear? Do you, you know, what do you do? My whole screen just flip flopped. That was really weird. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Mrs. Ford is connecting on her computer, so she disconnected oh. for a moment. Okay, yeah, and something else I want to ask you too, if you thought this would be appropriate, Kelly. Um, well, I guess it would be because because you're going back historically, uh, just going back to like the earliest versions of like smear campaigns. They were so much worse then than they are today on some level. But were they? I, I think so. <laughs> Spreading. Well, actually, okay, that's a fair point. I mean, this time around, it might be pretty extreme. But, yeah, I uh, mean, I think the worst, the worst ad that I've seen this time around was 
the Trump ad that was like, Joe Biden wants to defund police. And then it's just, you see a telephone ring and it, and it's like, call 911. You see the telephone uh, ring and it's like, press one for murder, press two for rape, press three for home burglary. All other emergencies, please remain on the line. You know, I was just like, there oh. wasn't one also that they're like running, per, uh, pers persecuting like uh, Mexicans in the border or something like that. Something with, with guns and everything. Yeah, there's something like that. It's crazy, crazy. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, on some <laughs> level, at least those those campaigns are targeting the issues, or at least the the candidates' positions on certain issues, and then trying to kind of do something with that. Back in the day, they were all like ad hominem attacks. They they were saying things like George Washington uh, contracted STDs, and now he's lost his mind, and he's not fit for office. And, and like you know, you couldn't really. There wasn't the internet, obviously, so. A rumor held a lot of weight. You couldn't really fact check or anything. But also, you couldn't spread this information as quickly either. Right. So, there's a lot we can talk about. I have the earliest ads. Let me look and see. Uh, do you know the um, Daisy ad? Are you familiar with that? Uh, yeah, it sounds familiar. R yeah, remind me. Get it's pulled. um it's it shows a little girl and she's going you know doing one two and pulling the petals off of the the daisy and then and she's counting backward i don't know if she's counting forwards or backwards but then it turns into a countdown and it zooms in on her eye and then you just see the reflection of a nuclear explosion yeah. right <laughs> awesome. and it only aired one time ever because so many people oh. were so upset about it they wouldn't air it anymore and I don't remember who that was, but there was one also that it was, um, who ran against Spiro Agnew, Spiro, Spiro Agnew, <coughs> whoever a ran against him. <coughs> it's just from the point of view of somebody looking at a TV and you see this TV screen and the camera's kind of going, you know, like bouncing around a little bit and you just hear, <laughs> You just hear this guy laughing, and then it focuses on the TV unit. It says Agnew for president. Those sound like my recorded lectures. It's harsh. <laughs> real yeah, that's, real um, quick. That's, that's wild. Uh, the, the Daisy ad you were referring to, I think yes. it was from LBJ's um, campaign, and I think I think it's on the Washington Washington Post. If I find it, I'll email you the link. Oh, well, I have the link for it. I have the link for it. I just couldn't remember who 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 it was. Yeah, it was LBJ. It's called Daisy. Yeah. Okay. I cannot share my screen on the phone, but I would if I if anyone needs to see it. Yeah, there's some real doozies in there, of of ads. Okay, so we can Fernando, are we recording this in the general uh, teams for Dallas Philosophy Club so everybody can see it? I think so. Uh, let me check. I think so. Yes, because I yeah. wasn't able to schedule in the in the, in the in the in the private one. Yeah, let's head over to the private one. We got to keep stop making this mistake. Yeah, but it was for like the uh, scheduling purposes. Okay, but you need me to like go there and like invite everybody to there. Yeah, guys, let's uh, hop over. We have like a special meeting space for the officers. Okay. Secret uh, meeting space. No, well, it's not secret. It's just, <laughs> we don't want to clog up uh, the, the general with just the officer meetings. Yeah. Um, it's easier when you scroll through the teams, you can find like all the recordings. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to hop to a different uh, team's room. So just look out for the uh, the invite. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. You have a beautiful home, by the way. Thank you. Let's see. I guess I need to minimize my screen. Let me see now. Okay, that's not it. Thank <laughs> you. 